Hello everybody, welcome to the Update 7. We have got World 12 High Havens, new weapons, pets, pet levels, dismantling pets for enchanted stuff. We've got sword stars, traveling merchant, new enchants and buffs, and lots of improvements and fixes. I'm here in the dungeon right now, the easy mode dungeon, about to hit level 50. Wanted to show you a little something something. When you finish a dungeon, whether you finish it all the way like in hard mode or you get stopped at a certain point, you get this beautiful little dust. It is the new currency, Stardust, okay? That is what's used to enchant your pets. So this little celestial from the last world, the best pet I have still. And I haven't been buying very many pets because I'll talk about what I've been doing the rest of the time. And you just say, uh, you know, max 75,000. It gets up about that far in the level. You can customize however much you want. And then let's say I want to do 10 food. Feed, it uses 10. However much you use, you, it uses that much of the stardust. And it's going to take millions to upgrade them full to level 100. 100 is the max level. The hard dungeon now goes beyond room 28. We've got this new little button dungeon. It takes you right here to the entrance of the dungeon instead of having to go to the dark forest and run over there every time, which is awesome. Big benefit, I made a short on this today. Big benefit upgrade for VIPs. Oh look, the traveling merchant. He happens to be in the dark forest. He's selling stuff for gold. So a luck potion, ooh, two damage, 15 minute damage boost. Take those, yes please. And he has a six hour cooldown, I believe. And every time he changes places, it'll say in the chat in yellow, traveling merchant has arrived in such and such. And apparently, Depending on the zone, he has better stuff that he sells the higher zone it is. So if he goes to the high havens, you're probably in really good luck. I'm sure it'll cost a lot, but it'll have better stuff to sell. I have not seen what it is yet. It's only been three times since he spawned, I think, or so. Don't know that yet. Enchanted Woods. We've got this little dismantler. So I, unfortunately, did not realize this first. But you can take your pets, click them, dismantle them for the stardust. It's going to be permanently gone if you do that. Uh, this morning I heard there was a glitch where the first world, the Dark Woods, it's real easy to get mythics. And the mythics were turning into like 15k stardust. So people were getting like millions of stardust. Fix that, ironed out that bug right away. The new world is called the High Havens. And this chain peasant wasn't working, but they got it working. I'm on the last quest, the Vul Vulcanus Maximus. Well, the problem is I can't get him because that brings me to what I've been doing this entire stinking day. The patch got released at eight o'clock this morning. It is now 11, 11, 10 at night. It has been 15 hours since it released and the entire day, except for just a few minutes, I have been grinding this route right here. Ooh, those are my nice new little shiny uh, Bloodseekers Destinies, the new, one of the new mythics. Speaking of mythics, there is one good thing I've gotten from today. All these different legendaries and so forth. There's my sun's eye that was a divine, so clearly they blow that away. Let's look at the weapon index for these new guys. We've got the feathered warrior, the early garbage guy, Thulu, Chthulu, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. He's got a magic dagger, centaur king. He's got the second mythic, which I have not gotten yet. In fact, is he the only guy with that second mythic? I think so. Yes, he is. Interesting. So the centaur kings, I've killed hundreds, if not thousands of centaur kings today. Celestial gatekeepers have definitely killed well over thousands, into the thousands for sure. I've only gotten three of these Bloodseekers destinies. No secrets yet, all day long. I did the darkness event, did not get any secrets by the Sky Watchers and Stormbringers. So having a hard time here. Volcanus Maximus can't get to. And here's why. If you're going around harvesting these guys, you're supposed to be able to get this molten key that everybody seems to know about. I would love to, except here's the problem. They are not dropping. A guy on my server got a molten key literally within the first two minutes of this update coming out and I have spent 15 hours killing guys and I have not gotten this molten key. If you go around the volcano, there's a little door. Push E, it's locked. You need the molten key to get in there. There are better eggs in there than the starter part of this zone and I really want to get in there. I've been farming and the one good news is I've gotten a lot of money. I've gotten a few drops, nothing special, but I have gotten a lot of money. So I'm ready to buy gazillions of eggs as soon as that key drops. But I'm sitting here and I'm wasting on these celestial gatekeepers for hours today. I kill these two guys. I run over here, I kill the centaurs. Bam, bam. Take out these little, whatever they're called. Crush this guy, I crush this guy. 
loop back around there i'll respawn by the time i get back over here i did this loop like hundreds of times and then i did afk on these guys during blood moons and all that stuff man i'm just getting the worst luck like many of you out there i had to make a short mocking the drop rate of this thing you can take a look at my shorts i'll pop it up on the screen uh, a link to my shorts but oh my goodness it's been painful today keep your head up don't get too discouraged hopefully the luck will change for all of us or maybe they'll make it easy and like you know hint hint buy it for robux huh you want to put it in the store like i would pay like 100 robux for that like right now i wasted the entire saturday my weekend come on got too much going on in life to be sitting here wasting time on one little molten key but anyways enough complaining i'm excited to get that because there's so much more i want to bring to you for now i wanted to let you uh, know a few different things first of all darkness it has changed it is now on a global scale which means on every server at the same time darkness starts and ends it has now changed to every two hours right now i don't know what it is your time you could be in a different time zone than me but for me it will be coming up in 45 minutes at 12 o'clock p.m then it'll be two o'clock four o'clock six o'clock and so on it lasts now for 20 minutes it was eight minutes every 45 minutes now it's every two hours for 20 minutes so blood moon is an hour off of darkness and then it's every four hours so if darkness is at 12 the blood moon will be at 1 a.m and then it'll be at 5 a.m and so forth every four hours that is what i've discovered i did ascend a few days ago i got the supreme warrior and i have not gained almost any power today i've only gained like half an no power because i've been using my damage weapons to grind guys to get this key i was high on the leaderboard on pets hatched 16 now i've dropped a couple spots because i haven't hatched hardly any pets today time played i'm 82 in daily power that is not correct i'm not 12 in daily power yesterday i was like 54 or something that was the best i got so i am climbing but now i'm gonna get bumped back because my luck is so bad i've seen people with secrets all over the place with their pets and and all this good stuff one thing i will mention i did a short on it at nighttime this fancy little storm bringer guy shows up right in this circle and if you go to the left over here you climb the ramp this is only at nighttime during the darkness event one two three ignore this guy and number four of these little sky watchers spawn on this platform elevated rock outcrop above the stormbringer so what i do is i kill the stormbringer run up there i kill three of the sky watchers and then jump down i don't kill the fourth one because he always respawns by the time i kill three so just a quick little routine that i made up and every two hours for 20 minutes pop those luck potions pop those damage potions if you need them and the gold gain potions now is the time to use them in the beginning of an update i know at some point gold will be meaningless but uh, for now it's pretty handy so i did not get the uh, new mount which is a balloon and i believe you can fly around this zone with it there is a little bit of parkouring to get around this zone like this you kind of have to jump over these little these little columns and pillars and move around a little bit here's the holy egg i got a couple mythics but i haven't gotten that secret like i said i didn't hatch long enough but the eggs are only 134 for TD so they're not very expensive I have 133 QI QID I mean come on I never would have imagined getting that much gold in this update in such a short time portal open in the mystic mines when you do those portals when they open complete that and you will also get more stardust they did change something with these relics when you um it was one of the suggestions I made the other day so I'm happy they added it I'm sure lots of people are suggesting it when you want to upgrade a relic and you have let's say this relic right here is level 15 instead of giving you level one experience for it they will give you a much more ramped up amount of experience if you already have a lot of levels into a relic and you use it up so i mean it's not you know you're just getting reimbursed for some of the experience you put into it so at least that's very helpful when you go to your relics instead of being clueless of what the next level is going to bring you go here you click upgrade and it'll show you what it'll go up to if you actually can make the next level so that's pretty handy another little quality of life improvement as a vip server they have vip controls you can kick players you can get up to eight pets all level 100 on this one all celestial that gives you a lot of stuff to grind for and continue to get better at and with the weapons being able to oh the weapons i forgot to mention you got stars so once you get something godly yep there's a godly right there you now have to have a divine 
like this of the same weapon and you can add a star. There's a button right here that appears that says add a star. Unfortunately, I'm already maxed. Five stars is the max. So it took me five divines plus a godly one of these to get this maxed, this maxed, almost maxed, and this maxed. I got a lot of weapons today, guys. It was a lot of grinding. The new weapons gives you another whole bunch of stuff to shoot for. If you get the secrets, you can never run out of stuff to get. In two weeks, you'll never be able to max out your, your weapons with two five-star secrets, I guarantee it. That's going to take so many mass amounts of grinding. There'll be a lot of diversity between players because people will have different levels of weapons and different levels of pets. The people that are super lucky and crazy grinders that play like 10 hours a day or more will be absolute beasts on this. The rest of us, well, we're just going to have to play the best we can, AFK as we can, and, you know, try to get that molten key together for the next six years. Hopefully, I get that molten key by the next update. I'm hoping I get it by tomorrow. I'm going to AFK tonight and I hope I get that darn thing to drop overnight. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my stuff. One other thing I forgot to mention about this volcano. I've heard that when there's the volcano rumbles or whatever the thing is, you come in this little cave here and there's an altar, like a demon altar or something, and you break it. Oh, shoot. It's right there. I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> now the volcano's rumbling. Okay. Did not realize that you can make that happen. Okay, news to me. That's the first time I did that today. Volcano is rumbling. So the volcano's rumbling. What's it doing here? Ah! Well, like many others, I do not know what it means when the volcano is rumbling. The only thing I can think of when I hear that the volcano is rumbling is it brings back some bad memories of Taco Bell back in high school when I did the 10 for $10 tacos and I put a bunch of hot sauce on those bad boys. Yeah, I would say that the volcano was rumbling back then. Besides that, I really don't know what it does in this game. So hopefully I can figure it out because I want to let you guys know too. I'm going to have to break this video up into a couple different videos because I need to find out a little bit more before I give you definitive answers. I don't like to give you trash information. I only like the facts. So... I will do a little more research and I will come back to you guys here in a day or two and try to give you the final details of this update. And then I'm like I've done before, I'm going to make a bunch more shorts, break it down into nice easy bite-sized pieces so that uh, the people that don't see this video can still learn how to play this update and learn all about it without having to do too much crazy research and wasted time. I hope you guys can find my shorts, I've got a little card. On the upper right, you can click on it, check out my shorts. I've been doing a little more goofy shorts for Adopt Me and some other things with my daughter and having fun messing around, doing a little more comedy stuff. I definitely want to cover this game in thorough detail. This one and Giant Simulator are the two main games I'm covering. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you guys later. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you have a lot of success with your luck. I hope your luck knocks my socks off, because my luck is bad. Anyway. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll talk to you soon.